Nadine and Travon can't sell their home. I really don't have a clue where my house hasn't sold. My husband's clothes are all over the place. I'm so tired of cleaning. Buyers can't get past the mess to see the potential. Seems like stuff everywhere. Declutter. Outdated, cluttered, and clueless. I do have big plans for the house. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Yes. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina has one of the hottest real estate markets where properties sell fast. But not this one. This 2300 square foot, five bedroom, two and a half bath home listed at $319,000 has been on the market for a whopping 18 months. If I don't sell my house, I'm going to be here forever. If we don't sell this house, we're just going to feel trapped. Selling your family home can be really tough. First, you have to make sure it's clean, tidy, and beautiful. And that's just the start. The hard part is keeping it that way. I'm so tired of cleaning. That's all I do. Meet Travon, who leaves trails of clutter in his way. My mess ends up in five locations, and I'm so busy that I'm totally oblivious to it. And Xavier, their two-year-old mess monster. Going in the garbage, Xavier. Apparently, I'm the housekeeper. Living in a show home isn't easy, but it has to be done, and I'm here to help. I want a condo with no yard and no maintenance. I can't stand a house this big. I love this neighborhood. This house has serious curb appeal, but there's obviously a problem, so I'm going to find out what it is. Hello. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Very well. I hear your house has been on the market for 18 months. You must be tearing your hair out. Yes. I am. I have to clean it. Yeah, that's a very long time for the record. 18 <laughs> months, that's a very long time. Yeah, so you've got to do something about it, because otherwise you'll go start raving mad. I thought I, I was think already we're there. there. Already. <laughs> that was like a year ago. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to take to sell our house at this point. Um, gut the whole thing. What I think would be really helpful if you show me around the house, I can give you my honest opinion, and then we can start from there. Awesome, that okay. sounds good. All right. So this is the dining room. Yes, the dining room. It's not an overwhelming first impression. No. <laughs> not at all. It's definitely not. <laughs> Trey, did you put the curtain pole up? Yes, I did put the curtain pole up. <laughs> is it for giants? Oh. <laughs> it is a little bit high up there, I guess, yeah. Putting clutter up against the window like that isn't brilliant because, mm -hmm. first of all, people can see it from the outside. Yeah. And yeah. second of all, it makes you look like you've got no storage. Those patches on the walls. Yeah, no? we were trying to hang up a picture and there's right. electrical boxes behind it, so I think that Sophie thinks that we have like no design sense at all. What is through here? This is the man cave. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got some decks. Yes. Console, giant television, giant desk, <laughs> giant chair. More cables yes. than I have ever seen in my yes. What do you do with these? Uh, they're for DJing. You hook them up to the speakers. And... Yeah, and they happen to be right in the middle of his office, too. Perfect yeah. place. There's nothing on the walls. Is that a conscious decision? I'm a photographer, and I'm really good at it. So, I mean, I could blow up pictures really big and hang them, but we thought, well, we're moving soon. Why bother? You know, it's like those little finished looks that really make a house look fantastic, and that's what's going to grab people. Got big, dark furniture. Nothing really matches, but such a shame because look how great this space is. So, what's upstairs? Xavier's man cave. Wow. I mean, this room was clean this morning. Pretty much. The moment this room doesn't really have a purpose, you know, is it a bedroom because you've got the futon? Is it a playroom? Yes. You know, there's computer stuff there. Does this ever get used? You know, I hate that thing. We do exercise, but I. Yeah, not, not, we not don't on that. On this. Not on no, that. Never. Basically, this is the dumping room. Pretty much. For everything, including obsolete exercise equipment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But this could be a fantastic room. I think what we really have to work on is the first impressions, though. We want to get people through the door and we want to wow them. Until now, this property has left buyers underwhelmed. Homes in this neighborhood usually sell between 280 and $320,000.
At $319,000, this house is at the top of the market range, but it's not in top condition. And real estate agent Samantha thinks so too. Nadine and Trey see that their home is in a popular area, and so they, they feel like it should just automatically sell. We're in such a competitive environment. There are nine other houses on the, on the market just on their street alone. I've asked Samantha to set up an open house. It's time to hear that important feedback from potential buyers. A lot going on in here. Many functions to this room, I guess. The carpets seem really dirty. You would think that you would try to clean up a little clean bit. Up. <laughs> this is a good house with so much potential, but they're just not bringing it to its maximum benefit. There's something that feels kind of off about the living room. It's just really cluttered. It's like hard to even like picture your stuff. So you have an office, it's an odd setup. It's just got too much stuff. The chandelier is really dated. Yeah. And there's nothing on the walls, and there's like holes. That's why buyers are walking away. We're just not getting offers. I would never imagine myself in this house the way that it is. You just want to cry. But I'm here to help. So, first, to break the news. People went in and they thought that the dining room was just a bit bland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then upstairs, again, cluttered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a comment about the carpets not looking as fresh as they could. Well, I think what we could do if the carpets bother people that much is just set fire to them. Most of the negative feedback, in fact, Ravon, was mm -hmm. about the home office slash man cave. Yeah. No way! Yeah, wow. crazy! <laughs> yeah. Now, your price is a little on the high side. Mm -hmm. It's 319000 yeah. But I understand you've already reduced the price. Yes. Twice. Twice. Yes. Any further reduction comes directly out of our pocket. Interestingly, we had a lot of people through the door for the open house, yeah. and that tells me that it's not priced ridiculously. But I think they will expect if the house is priced higher than other comparables, the house is going to be in pristine condition. Uh, I just, I want to do it, I want to get it over with. I really do. There's going to have to be some major decluttering. Okay. We're going to have to start with your okay. man cave. I figured that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I do have big plans for the house. With a total budget of $5,000, first up is the dining room. I'm brightening this space to give a great first impression. We'll give the furniture a facelift and add coordinating accessories. The living room is just big, bland, and bare. So I'm going to add new furniture, bamboo blinds, and colorful artwork courtesy of Nadine. And the room upstairs at the moment is just this giant dumping ground. I'm giving this space a clear purpose with new paint, revamped furniture and colourful accessories. And Travon's in for a surprise when he sees my plans for the man cave. First, we'll remove the heavy furniture and change up the paint. Then we'll bring in lighter furniture, add accessories and an area rug. Yesterday was fantastic. We cleared the house. <laughs> what about that? What about what? We cleared oh. Travon's man cave. Be careful with that. That's Garbage. Fantastic. Which took a long time, because there was a lot of stuff in it. Upstairs, again, loads of clutter. It's all about giving buyers that finished turnkey look, which is especially important in this house, because it is more expensive than other comparable houses in the neighborhood. To drive this point home, I send Nadine and Travon to look at a similar property in their neighborhood. This 2,100 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath house sold for $300,000 in two months. Wow. It's really open in the front, like ours. It's very minimal. Oh, this is really different than looking at my cluttered office. Let's see the living room. Hopefully it's amazing so I don't feel so bad. It's nice. It's nice and clean. It does still seem a little bit more open. Maybe they just have it laid out nicer. I guess so, yeah. Maybe it does feel more open, way. whatever that means. OK, so this is their office. I think ours is bigger. It's just a desk. Food yeah. Pond, some fish. Ours is still way bigger. This house is smaller, but because it's tidy, airy, and bright, it's sold quickly. I am so angry right now. I know you have your angry pose. <laughs> that house is smaller than ours, first of all. It's smaller, has less bedrooms, but there's less stuff, there's less clutter. Our house could look just as nice as that, if not better. <sighs> I'm still frustrated. <laughs> I'm so angry. Wow. Did we get robbed or are you <laughs> clearing out our house? So, what was the open house like? It was very depressing to see someone whose house actually sold. 
I think a lot so of what fast. you said was right. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, how does it differ to this house? It had like a better flow. Flow is created yeah. with, you know, a color palette, matching furniture. Yeah. So this house has a fantastic flow. There's no like dark passageways. Yeah. One room flows into another room. Mm -hmm. I think what's jarring at the moment is that nothing matches. You know, yeah. the furniture doesn't match. You know, the drapes don't match. There's not a cohesive sort yeah. of design okay. plan. So that's easily achievable in this house. Okay. Mm -hmm. But to do that, I need you to get into your work clothes, and okay. then we're going to start on a few projects I've got lined up for you. Awesome. A great way to create flow is to use the same paint colour throughout the house. Oh, Sophie, do I have a time saver for you? I'm all ears. Instead of spending all the time cutting with that brush, take this roller, put it right in the corner, and move it down floor to ceiling. That's OK. And your wall is cut. There it is. It's just like magic. I think the house is going to be revitalized through color. I mean, we have nice neutral tones that are continuing throughout the whole house bringing a bit of continuity between all the rooms. In the living room, we need to get rid of that large red rug. I've asked my right-hand man, Dave, to custom build two coffee tables to help anchor the space. And I'm enlisting Travon to lend a hand. Travon? Yes. I'd like you to meet David. Hey, hey how's it going, How David? are you? All right. Good. Now, are you going to talk Travon through some of the things we're doing? We're going to talk sawing, cutting, nailing, and gluing. Sounds like fun. Awesome. So, no I'll All leave right. you to it. Don't cause too much trouble. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be our tabletop. Okay. So, let's get to work, okay? All right, cool. Let's do it, man. All right. We're going to take these sides. I pre cut these to save some time. Okay, sweet. These are just going to wrap around. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll just glue the seam. Okay. The glue is going to hold it together more than the nails. This is actually the most fun I've had since you guys have been here, honestly. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Line this up. Cool. Pop it. Awesome. Oops. No, that no. wasn't shooting the, any nails. The nails didn't come through. <laughs> One of the easiest and cheapest ways to freshen up your house is with new window treatments. One of the first things I noticed when I came in the living room was the drapes over there weren't matching and nor are these curtain poles. And it might seem like a small thing, but buyers definitely notice it. So I'm going to take these hooks off and then we're going to put these beautiful bamboo blinds in here. And it's just going to give this whole room cohesion. It's going to look very smart. Back outside, the guys are almost finished the coffee table. That's awesome. great. I think it's cool. I need Our table has legs. Yes, it does. Wow, we're making something. Let's make sure it stands. That it does. You just built something. Cool. Nice. I'm going to let you take credit for this. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that won't work. She'll just say you did it anyways. <laughs> Accessories can be expensive, especially something like coffee tables. We built two coffee tables in an afternoon, saved hundreds of dollars, and he can take pride in what we did. What we are doing is we're going to reupholster the seat covers. Oh, just what I always wanted. So we're going to cover them in this gorgeous sort of burnt sienna raw silk material. Oh, awesome. You see this color a lot in Charleston houses. It's a beautiful color. Oh, it's going to look gorgeous in here because it's more of a colonial type home. To give your chairs an easy facelift, go to any fabric store. And for $25, you can get a roll of fabric to cover eight to 10 chairs. First, we remove the seat. Screwing anything on or off. I definitely don't have that talent. There we go. Ha, voila. Finished chairs. Don't they look excellent? We did such a great job. Quite a team. Right, on to the next project. I just found this on the side of the road. This is made of sweet grass. It's quite similar to these wicker chairs that we're painting black. So I thought if I paint this black to match those, you never know. It could be quite a nice side table. It could also be completely hideous, in which case we won't use it. But though it's definitely worth giving it a go. With our homeowner projects complete, it's time to say goodbye to the family so the team can finish up and we can dress the space. We've got a few surprises up our sleeve, and I really would like the reveal to be a surprise, to be fresh. So get out of here. All Scram. Right. Awesome. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye, Xavier.
When you're selling your home, you don't need to break the bank. There's one last piece of furniture to revamp. We picked this up at a market for quite a reasonable price, but it wasn't particularly attractive. So what we've done is we've painted it the same green as in the dining room and then reattached the handles. And the really nice thing about them, because they're old handles, they've got a bit of wear and tear on them, and they, so it goes quite well with the green, I think. Easy peasy. Next morning, the transformation is nearly complete. We've decluttered, repainted and repurposed. Now for a few finishing touches. When potential buyers are coming around your house, it's really, really important that it's bright. Now, if your room is like this one and doesn't have a central ceiling light, table lamps are a must, because buyers hate dark and dingy. A great way to add interest to any room is to use colourful, everyday objects to accessorise. When you're selling your house, you don't always have to spend lots of money on brand new accessories and furniture. We found this table on the side of the road. We gave it a lick of paint, and now it ties in with the rest of the room. Sometimes one man's trash is another man's treasure. There's no need to go and buy expensive pieces. You would be surprised what you can find in your own house. I love hanging plates on the wall in the dining room of the kitchen. It looks really chic. It's actually really easy to do, because you just get these plate hooks from any hardware store, you clip them on the back, and then you hang it just like a picture. The feedback from potential buyers was that this house was bland, so we're combating that by putting pictures on the wall. It adds colour and interest, and the best thing is Nadine gets to showcase her art. Welcome to your beautiful new home. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. Look, look how beautiful it is looks. Is this our house? I wow. know, really. Our reupholstered chairs. This is our dining room set, yeah. but you would never know. I know, you would never know. So I nice. like the lamps, those look awesome too. Yeah. And look, do you like wow. the plates on the wall? I love I the do. plates. That's a really nice touch. And then this is one of my favorite pieces. We got this, we, this is second hand. What we did is we repainted it and then we put the old handles back on. Yeah. And you see where they're green, that's just oxidization, because they're oh, old man. and it matches the color. It wow. does. And do you know what those are? They're yeah. old are ceiling those? tiles. Really? So those are oh, antique wow. as well, from yeah, Charleston. Yeah, that looks really awesome. From Charleston? Yeah, from Charleston. Wow. Historic. In this area, potential buyers love formal dining rooms. So it's all yeah. about appealing to the buyers that are going to be walking yeah, through. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, this is just, I, I think it's beautiful. This is awesome. I was blown away. It was a dining room, a real dining room that you could eat in. It looked gorgeous. I wish this was my dining room. I know, right? I'm like... <laughs> I'm afraid to use it. I know, I don't want to touch it, but this looks amazing. You've always got to give buyers what they want. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What buyers didn't want yeah. was a dark, dark, cluttered wow. space. Where is the man cave? It's gone. Oh, the man gone. cave is gone. Wow. This is completely different. This is a much better first impression than before. First impressions are so important. Yes. This is so much more oh. open than before. Yeah. Like, right. I would rather sell the house than have an awesome, dark man cave that all my buddies like. So I'm good with it. I'm happy. Oh, I, I'm really happy with oh, this. This is beautiful in here. Yeah, come on through. Wow. Wow. It looks completely Whoa. different. Oh my gosh, it wow. looks like a living room. Look. Oh my gosh, look what they did with my artwork. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, that's my artwork. Oh, these are the tables that we made. There's the tables yes. that you made, yes. with the table we made with David. Oh, is that what you were yes, doing out we're there? Doing. You didn't tell me. Really? Wow, no. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, they look beautiful. You look really wow. smart. Trevon, you did an amazing job. Yeah. I'm impressed. It was all me. Just <laughs> <laughs> they picked this from out back, from our yard. This is from the garden. And it just adds a bit of color. It costs really? nothing. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> we have this kind of bamboo theme going on. Cool. So we put in new blinds. Everything has a good flow. It has everything that it didn't have before. It's like not too cluttered. There's all this color. I'm feeling good. It looks perfect. No one's allowed downstairs anymore. Come on through. Wow, goodness. Oh. Wow. Woo! It's like oh, a I have a desk up still. Space. I realize that oh. we don't have all your stuff, but we do have That's your okay. desk. Oh. What you can do is when you want to work, you can come up here, have your uh -huh. close the door, have your own space. Yeah. I can adjust 
And this is this the same futon, That's but the same it's a different. Futon. Oh, well, look at that. We recovered it. Wow. It's a sitting room, but it's multi-purpose. It's an office. It can also double yeah. up as a playroom. Do you know where I got this? Where? Your neighbors had thrown it out. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> so I can't wait for your neighbors if they want to watch the show and they'd be like, hmm, honey, I recognize that table. <laughs> Sophie far surpassed our expectations. I really did not think, and I truly mean with this with all my heart, I never thought our house was going to look this classy and this beautiful. A couple days ago, I was very much resigned, and I'd taken the for sale sign down. I will put the for sale sign up, because I think that this house is going to sell now. I'm feeling positive. We're going to do it this time. When this house sells, I'm going to be extra, extra happy. <laughs> I can't wait. You guys should have came here like 18 months ago. You'd have made my life a lot better. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. I um, love, love it. I'm going to leave you to it. Okay. And um, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed for a quick sale yes. so you guys can move on. Fingers crossed. Yes. yes. Nadine and Travon love the changes. But will the buyers feel the same way? We're bringing them back to find out. Oh. Huge transformation. It was amazing, just the difference in the, the feel. The, the you know, it didn't feel so boring. The rooms had a lot of function this time. Before they were just jumbled and, and messy, and now they actually served their specific function. Right when you walked in, how that front office was transformed to a sitting room. It was extremely open and functional, and I just loved it immediately. The house looks great. It looks totally different. We definitely consider it now. Thank you.